Hello everyone, welcome to VLSA for all. Today we are going to discuss about another video based on the Verilog code. Today we are going to discuss about a shift resistor. Generally, we have four main shift resistors that is parallel input, parallel output, parallel input, serial output, serial input, serial output, serial input, serial input and serial serial output. So today in those types, we are going to learn about parallel input and serial output. So before going to the Verilog code, first of all, let us know what is parallel input and serial output. In digital, we design the parallel input and serial output by using the D flip flops and some other gates. So here we see that there is a option which we have used as shift by load bar. So by using this option, we will either shift the data or load the data. That is, here we want to perform the operation of parallel input and serial output. That means first we have to load the data parallelly into the flip-flops and then serially we need to get the output. So to get the output serially, first we need to load the data parallelly. For that, we will use the load bar and after loading, we need to get the output as in the sh shift manner that is serial output. So at that time, we will use the shift. That means when the load is zero, the values that is the data which is given is loaded into the flip-flops and when the load is one, then these are shifted from one flip-flop to other flip-flop. Like this, the concept has been working. So now let us see the Verilog code for the parallel input and serial output shift resistor. Here, if we observe, First, this is the RTL code of parallel input and serial output shift resistor. First of all, we have to mention it in the block of module in which we will give the pins that is inputs and output pins. Here, we have used a 4-bit pin which is given as input to load the data because as we are using a 4 flip-flops to load the data, we have used an array of 3 down to 0 pin and clock and load are two inputs as we are giving to the D flip flop and S out is the output from which we will going to get the output. So for temporarily to store the data, we are using a temp variable as a 4 bit resistor and we are defining it in a always block but for performing we are using a passage of clock. So that means for every passage of clock the given operation will be performed. So if you observe here, here if we have the load pin as 1, then we will load the pin that is the values into the temporary variable and store the 4-bit data. Otherwise, if load is not equal to 1, if it is 0, then we will we will perform the output serial out operation. That is the value in the third pin will go to the serial output and the remaining is transferred into the remaining bits are transferred into the temp variable. Like this, the RTL is performed. If we consider the test bench, here is the test bench that is first we will create the module name and here we can observe that the inputs which are uh, declared as y type here is declared as reg type here and the outputs which are declared as reg type here and which is de described as the y type here. So next we will perform the du operation that is we will connect the RTL and test bench components like this that is here inside the bracket the components are of our test bench one and the com these are the components of RTL that is that means the RTL clock is connected with the test bench clock and pin with pin s out with s out and load with load like this it is performed so now we will give the data which is to be performed in the serial out manner but which is given parallel as parallel input that is when we begin first of all when clock is 0 the pin is loaded with 1010 and load is given as input 1 when the load is given as 1 and after 10 seconds the load is again given with 0 and after some delay it is given again with 1 like this the load is uh, changed and the output will change and other example will take as 0101 and after 10 seconds the load will be 0. Like this for every 5, five seconds the clock is toggled. So for uh, monitoring each and every value we have given as dollar monitor which will show us the changes in the every state of the output. 
so far after 300 seconds it will be finished and the module will be ended like this the code is written for parallel input and serial output now if we check the outputs here we have used the model sim for simulation output here if we observe this is the simulation output for the for the parallel input serial output shift register here if we observe when there is no clock and there is given as load 1 but there will be no output when the clock is 1 and load is 1 the pin is loaded with the 1010 but we won't get any serial output until the load operation starts after loading completely next clock cycle the s out operation that is serial output operation will be performed if you observe here load is 0 but here when the load is 1 we will get the outputs 0 when the load is 0 and serial output operation is performed 1 0 1 and 0 and second one is 0 1 0 1 so the same we can observe in the transcript window which we have used in the monitor way so if we observe this here if you look at this when the pin is 1010 the sout is undefined because we are loading with the data so there will be no output at the serial terminal so next when again 1010 sout is undefined and load is zero because the uh, clock is not present so when we give next 1010 sout will be one as the load is zero like this we get 1010 as the output and again for 0101 the load is 1 and the output is 0 and again from this side we will get 0101 as it is shifted like this we will get the output this is a simulation report and as coming to the synthesis report like this we will get the synthesis report of the say, parallel input serial output shift resistor thank you everyone